This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Thursday, May 27th, 2021. We're talking a little bit this week about stories and worship and, and how, we, how we choose the stories that we do on Sunday morning. Yesterday we talked about appropriation and the danger of, of telling stories that are not our own. But one, so one way to avoid appropriation is to be really clear about what stories are ours and how we relate to them. So as an example, um, this past Sunday, I preached from Hebrew scriptures. I, the, the two readings were um, Psalm 137 and a commentary on the book of Revelation, or I'm sorry, the book of Lamentations. And there were two reasons for that. The first is I had just been in class um, for, for a week where we had been doing a deep dive into those stories. And so they were very much at the forefront of my mind. But it's also because those are stories that I have known for years that, that resonate with how I understand the divine, the relationship between God and humanity how I understand suffering and how I understand community. <laughs> and like most times, um, when, when I preach from either um, Judaism or Christianity, I, I got um, several emails uh, early in the week um, that, that were pretty, uh, that had some real questions about why we would make, uh, why we would highlight those traditions in worship. So here's the thing, we bring who we are to worship, all of us do, ministers included. And so each of us has a, a sort of native faith language that, that we go back to, a native, a, a set of stories and metaphors that we know fluently and that we don't have to worry about appropriating if we use. And that differs for everybody, right? Gretchen Woods, who immediately preceded me here, um, can talk about feminist neo-pagan worship much more authentically than I can. We have colleagues who identify as Buddhist Unitarian, Universalism, Unitarian Universalists who can talk directly about their experience on the Eightfold Path in a way that neither Gretchen or I can. So, we've had this conversation, I, I have this conversation often, but I'm a mostly humanist, Unitarian Universalist minister whose wife and child are Jewish and who grew up and was educated by progressive Christians. That means that my native language in faith is more or less those three things humanism, progressive, progressive Christianity, and Judaism. Those are the, the stories and metaphors that I, that I can continually go back to and continually struggle with over my life. That doesn't mean that I can't talk about meditation or stories of communing with beloved ancestors at Samhain, but when I tell those stories, it's as an observer not as a participant. And when we do that, we have to be really careful about how we approach it. Unlike, say, the Psalms, stories of Samhain are not my stories, and so I have to be carefully used. The stories that are, are our own are the stories that we know best, but also the stories that we've argued with for the longest. Those are mine, but we'll pick up tomorrow with a question to ponder for the weekend.